Hi campers, it's Kara here. Just wanted to let you know about the park I went to. It was St. Francis State Park. I followed the trail called Mooner's Holler Trail. It was blazed in the blue color so that if I was on the trail and got lost, I would know what trail to follow. The trail is about 2.75 miles long. It does take around two hours, but when I go, I usually get it done in about an hour. I went with my boyfriend and he just wanted to point out to you guys the safety things while on the hike. All right, campers, let's get started with this spooky, scary story. Today's story is called The Scarecrow. The Scarecrow. I live on a small farm far out in the country. Every year, my dad puts out scarecrows in our fields because he thinks they're effective in not only keeping the crows out, but evil spirits as well. I guess he's a little superstitious. The scarecrows he sets out are the same ones year after year. After so much wear and tear, they were showing their age. This October started out just like any other October. The weather was looming and turning cold, and the leaves were beginning to change into brilliant orange and yellow colors. One Saturday, us kids got together and decided to make a new scarecrow. Being creative, we gathered our supplies and got to work. This scarecrow was to be very different. This was my special design. I wanted a creepy scarecrow, much scarier than the others. Hours later, we finished up. Indeed, he was the ugliest, most frightening scarecrow I've ever seen. I was so proud. Mom called us in for supper, so we planted the scarecrow out in the cornfield where I could see it from my bedroom window. All right, you guys, we take a moment here to pause our fun story to let you guys know what is this awesome thing we see on the trail that we talked about in the beginning. Yes, it is a blue marker. These markers, you guys, allow us to stay on the trail and make sure we don't get lost because safety is first. So again, as we travel along, be mindful of those markers and know that those are there to help keep you guys on the correct trail. All right, now back to the story. Mom called us in for supper, so we planted the scarecrow out in the cornfield where I could see it from my bedroom window. Not giving it any more thought, we went in and ate. Soon, the wind picked up and it began lightning. No storm was forecasted, but it looked like we were in for a rough night. Light rain began falling as I went up to bed. I was worried about my new scarecrow, so I peeked out my window. When I, when I saw outside my window, it completely shocked me. He was there, but not where we had placed him. My, scare, my scarecrow appeared to me that was bright and to the right. Hmm, what was he doing to the right? Puzzled, I stood at the window and watched intently. The lightning was bright, and every time it flashed, I could see my scarecrow. The problem was, it looked as if he was moving when the sky was dark, only to turn up in another spot when the sky lit up. Thinking that I must be imagining things, I put my pajamas on and went to bed. All right, we're going to take another quick pause in our story. I wanted to show you guys this creek that runs alongside the trail we were on. Again, be super careful when you're out hiking. I like to wear protective hiking boots, but look at this view, you guys. It is absolutely beautiful. I love hearing the way the water hits the rocks. I love just taking a moment of silence to honor nature and be aware that I am in the space that is beautiful and sacred. So I always like to take a couple of seconds to really appreciate my surroundings. Um, it's just so great to be out in nature. And that's one of the best ways that I find myself when I'm feeling stressed or worried, I go out into nature. So I would just suggest that to you guys and let you guys know that it's always good to be safe and be aware of your surroundings, but to really enjoy nature. All right, now back to the story. Thinking that I must be imagining things, I put my pajamas on and went to bed. Later on, a loud crack of thunder woke me up. By now, the rain was pouring down, making it difficult to see out my window. I slipped on my shoes and snuck outside to check on my scarecrow. Not sure where he was, I walked around in the thunderstorm, half blinded by the cold, stinging rain. Clumsily, <laughs> I stumbled upon a fallen branch and fell face down into a patch of mud. 
All right, campers, real quick, what do we see? Another blue marker. <laughs> All right, we're going to keep going. Now back to the story. When I looked up, there was my scarecrow glaring down at me. His eyes were huge and glowing red. I couldn't pick myself up fast enough. I ran screaming to the house and never looked back. After tossing and turning the rest of the night, I woke up to the bright sunshine and the smell of bacon. Not wanting to tell my parents what happened, I sat quietly and ate breakfast. Anxious and apprehensive, I then went outside to look around. My dad was already looking for damage to the buildings, but I was looking for my scarecrow. I could see the other scarecrows all in their usual places, but my scarecrow was nowhere to be found. Full of confusion, I began crying, not because of losing the scarecrow, but because of pure, unadulterated fear. My father told me that he probably blew away and would be discovered in a field during harvest, but I knew better. Somehow, some way, that scarecrow came alive. How? I don't know. All right, campers, let's take this time to start talking. What do you guys think happened to the scarecrow? Do you guys think something happened? I, still to this day, have no idea. But to continue this story, we begin. Ten years later, years have passed, and to this day, I have never seen my scarecrow again. What happened that stormy night? Do scarecrows really keep out evil spirits, or can they be possessed by one? I don't live on that farm anymore, but I've never ventured outside during a thunderstorm again. The end. This story was written by the editor. Everything written in this story was fiction, and all of these are opinions of the writer and not opinions of my own. All right, campers, for this last couple of minutes on this hike, I wanted to take you guys with me and explain a little bit of what I saw while on my hike. So while hiking, it is very, very important to remember that you'll be seeing a lot of different things in nature for example look how big and bright and happy these leaves look can any campers point out what colors they see green a little bit of brown and of course some red <laughs> also we went over a lot of rocks i love climbing the rocks that are there i like to jump off of them and it's always a lot of fun and people make fun of me because i get so excited when i'm out hiking i just love exploring and i love being outdoors so for me hiking is the best way for me to let out any stress that i have or it's just really my way of having fun out in nature and enjoying recreation with the people that i care about Again, to the right, you'll see the cliff of the <laughs> creek. Not really the, uh, it's not really a uh, cliff. I don't know why I said that. Um, here inside this tree, you guys kind of noticed there was, oh, there's Ray. Yep. <laughs> He's reminding me that it's always important to take a hiking buddy so that it is just more fun that way. You can enjoy nature with the people you care about. I happen to be going with Ray, who is a great hiking buddy. All right, so to continue on this trail, we ran into some sticks. Um, there's lots and lots of uneven surfaces. So again, when you're out hiking, just be super careful and aware of your surroundings. I, oh, there we go. We see another blue marker. That means we are on the trail on the right path to go back to the car. So I do believe this was towards the end of my hike. And I'm just showing you guys that I found it. All right, let's keep going. Campers, while we're walking, how many colors do you, have you seen of the different color leaves? There's always so many different colors. There's orange and yellow and green and uh, a little bit of brown still. Do you guys enjoy hiking? This trail is beautiful. All right, now this is me going over the creek bed. I am walking across all of the rocks, being super careful to watch my footing, as well as making sure that I don't step in any water. But if I do, it's no big deal because my shoes are waterproof, which is awesome. So again, just be really careful when you're walking across anything like that. And here I am making sure that Ray's okay. He got across safely, that's awesome. All right, we are towards the end of this hike. Thank you guys for joining us on this virtual hike. And I am so excited that you guys were able to join us for today's 
virtual spooky tale. I can't wait to see you guys next time. And I do believe that nature is the best way to enjoy the outdoors. So go.